Hey guys, it's Lydia here and welcome back to another textile tutorial. In this video I'm going to go through my process of how I made these free motion scrap fabric earrings. So the first step is arranging the fabric scraps. I don't do that much sewing so I don't have many scraps so I kind of just found all these different types of materials and cut out scraps but if you do a lot of sewing then this is a good uh, opportunity to use up these extra scrap pieces. So I cut out different shapes, different colours and I glued them to a base fabric. It's better to use fabric glue I think but I just didn't have any so I used normal stick glue. Um, yeah and so I did this with orange, green and more like orange yellow kind of colours. Once you're happy with what it looks like and all the different colours and where the patterns are and however you want it to look like, then it's time to sew the scraps down. This step I'm just going to show you how I did the reddish orange colour because the process is the same for all the different colours. So first I use a normal machine foot with the normal straight stitch to sew the scrap pieces down. I just sew lines, uh, loads of lines with loads of different colours, well not loads, three different colours. Um, I did like a dark red and an orange and a yellow and I yeah kept switching between those and yeah just this step is just sewing the scrap pieces down as well as adding some texture. So once I've done quite a few lines, I switch to the free motion footer um, and then I use this foot to draw squiggly lines just all over the place and same with this, I use dark red, orange and yellow thread. Um, so the end result, you just have loads of squiggles, loads of lines, lots of texture and it sews all the scrap pieces down. So I spent quite a bit of time in this step because I really wanted a lot of lines to add all that texture and the extra colour as well. Um, but it's up to you what you're going for, what you would prefer. You can see the finished result, there's so much going on and it just looks so good. Um, so now we are going into step three, which is I think the trickiest part. Um, I drew the shape that I wanted on a piece of paper and then um, drew the outline using a water erasable pen. 
and then I pinned a piece of fabric on the back to cover all the loose ends. Then I used the free motion foot to go around the outline and this was quite tricky to um, control it. So I did the same same steps on all the different colours. This one I did an autumn leaf and the hard part about this was that I couldn't really see the outline that I had made. Um, so maybe doing it with a different pen or I don't know, I don't know how to make that a bit easier. But once I got the first outline done, then it was okay. <laughs> it got easier. Um, I went around the shape three times. So then I cut out the shapes and because I'd gone around it three times I wasn't worried about it fraying and everything falling apart, it was, it's quite secure. The leaf was quite fiddly to cut with my massive scissors so I do re recommend getting some smaller scissors if you're going to be doing more detailed work. So after it's all cut out, I played around with different beads and uh, jewellery making things. <laughs> I have a whole stash of jewellery making things from when I was like 13 and was so into making jewellery. Um, yeah, and then I attached it to a hook and voila! These turned out so well and they are up on my Etsy shop. I was tempted to keep them all and wear them all the time. Um, some of them have already been selling so yeah if you want to have a look go to the link in the description and thanks for watching.